In other news, Mikael Dos Santos denies being in an execution video by the Islamic State group. The 22-year-old of Portuguese origin, who's thought to have gone to Syria last year, made the comments on his Twitter account, contradicting an announcement by the Paris Prosecutor's Office. Here to tell us more is France 24's expert on jihadi movements, Wassim Nasser. Wassim, this is what you've been saying all along, that the man that's been identified is not Mikael Dos Santos. Yes, of course, we've been alone maybe to uh, express some doubts about this because I had many elements that uh, made me think that it might not be him. But at the same time, maybe the prosecutor's office has uh, elements that I don't have. But we should know that uh, Dos Santos has clear eyes the guy that we see in the video, so this is Dos Santos, so the guy we see in the video has black eyes, uh, Dos Santos has a much uh, thinner uh, face, and the most important, uh, the guy that we see in the video presented as Dos Santos speaks uh, excellent Arabic with a Syrian accent. And I heard this video maybe 30 times to make sure and it cannot be that he learned Arabic this quick and he cannot gain an accent this uh, pronounced you know, by staying in Syria for a few months. And today, what's new, like a few few minutes ago, uh, Dos Santos activated a new uh, Twitter account that we had the chance to authenticate with our colleague in RFE, David uh, Thompson, so we know it's him behind this account, and he denied publicly uh, being in this video. But we should, I guess, even, even though stay careful because it's his word against the word of the prosecutor and many others. So, but I think, I believe that uh, there's a bigger place for doubt uh, by now. Let's say the French authorities really did make a mistake on this one, perhaps by doing, going a little bit too fast. This is hugely embarrassing for them, isn't it? Yes, and I guess that the media went very, very fast too by putting the, the picture or the, of the photo of uh, Dos Santos and uh, this, uh, this, uh, the picture of this guy that we see, which is prob most probably Syrian, because I got to know that his name is... Uh, I want to say his name, but I got to know that uh, this guy is most surely uh, Syrian. So, uh, yes, the media went too far, uh, everybody went too far, too fast, but even though the prosecutor's office like opened an investigation, he th they say that they have uh, doubts that it's him, he says no, I said I have doubts, Others say that they have uh, they have doubts today, and we should wait and see. But what there's no doubt about is that Mikhail Dos Santos is fighting with extremists in Syria. Of right? course, of course, there's no doubt that he's in the ranks of the Islamic State organization. He's been active there for many months. He had many Twitter accounts. He posted his pictures, and this is why maybe his mom recognized him. Maybe she recognized him on one of these pictures that he posted, and knowing that he's there. Maybe she was too emotional because we shouldn't forget also that a British father knows, recognized his son on one video. The British media went too fast to putting two pictures one next to the other. And finally, this British father said, no, my son isn't on the video of these executions. While the media said he was. So I guess we should be careful. All right. Thank you very much indeed, Wasim.